everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a little bit of something special for you guys. Today, we're going to be breaking it down, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be letting you guys know the prize possession items in MDT's collection. The My Damn Toys collection, you guys know, we got customs, we got all kinds of crazy action figures in this collection. We got some one-of-a-kind stuff. We got stuff you've never seen before. Stuff that you're like, why the hell would you want that in your collection? You got stuff that are all over the wall. We got great customs. We got some stuff that I've had to take a long time to, to obtain. We, we have all kinds of stuff. So today, guys, I'm going to be showcasing my favorite pieces, the pieces in my collection that are, I, I don't, I don't want to say priceless or irreplaceable, but for the most part, they're kind of irreplaceable because it would be very hard to obtain again. But of course, my real prized possessions in real life are my beautiful family, my wife, my beautiful son, Josiah, and those that are close with me. But if we're narrowing it down to my collection, guys, we're going to showcase that here today. And I think we have to start things off with probably my favorite part of my entire collection. And for me, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be my John Cena collection. You guys know that I have like 97 total John Cenas, but I'm specifically referring to, I'm not really referring to the big box that I got over there that we'll showcase here in a minute. I am talking about the John Cenas that are all the customs that I got from Showstopper Custom Figs. So uh, you guys see, see here we have the Rise Above Cancer attire. I have many custom figures with custom hats and custom t-shirts and custom arms that it took me a very long time to obtain because the customizer that created these, the John Cena's, I'll show off the John Cena's here in a second. He is Showstopper Custom Figs. He's one of the best customizers in the world, but he lives in the Philippines. So not only you got to ship a bunch of stuff over to the Philippines, it's pretty expensive to ship there. And then you got to wait for, you know, the, sh the shipping itself takes two to three weeks to obtain. And then he's got to do the customs and then he's got to ship them back, which takes another long time. And I had to provide all the parts for him. So it just took a very long time to come up with the parts. I had to send him a bunch of arms and hats and all kinds of stuff and then the shipping times and uh, putting these figures together getting the custom shirts with it it is just easily my favorite part of my collection man I, I just freaking love it obviously John Cena is my favorite wrestler of all time former MDT champion and that is why he is wearing the MDT championship right here but uh, I just love my John Cena's man they're just excellent I freaking love them definitely my favorite part of the collection you know it's very hard to narrow it down to one figure but if I had you know a specific portion of my collection that I could keep you know, if I had to get rid of everything, I would probably keep the John Cena's because they're just, they took me a very long time. It was very hard to come up with them and everything like that. But if you guys are noticing, he does have the MDT Championship on it. The only reason he's holding these title belts is because I think he looks badass like that with the pink and the titles and the MDT Championship. He is a former MDT champion, so that is that. But the reason that I have him wearing the MDT Championship is because that leads us into our next thing, which is going to be the personalized championship belts that are for the pick fed is also another epic piece of the collection that I hold near and dear to my heart because it is all from my brain. I came up with these championships out of my, you know, just writing down ideas and coming up with them on my own. And so I throw in the Money in the Bank briefcase that we got right here with John Cena who's toting it around right now. He's in a he, you know, he supposedly ran over RVD in the pick fed. So uh, RVD probably going to want that Money in the Bank briefcase back. But we have the Money in the Bank briefcase there. We also have the Vindication one. And you guys will notice Willow Jeff Hardy is holding that. And we'll get into that in just a second but uh the vindication money in the bank briefcase is also in that and then we have this table over here that i have to slide into picture and you guys will see all of the pick fed championships that i hold in the pick fed and again i just love all of them and you know they all came from the brain they all came from the heart and soul me just brainstorming coming up with championship belt ideas i want to get a zoom in shot here so on the left you have the extreme championship it's right there you have the mdt world tag titles the mdt tag titles the iron man championship the Revolutionary, the U.S. Championship, the Elite Championship, which is the flip side of the MDT Championship. And just all together, I, I love those belts. I, again, hold them near and dear to the heart. And uh, they're just very meaningful to me because they represent the pick fed and everything that we've done over there with that and the support that that thing gets. And, you know, all you guys tuning into that really means a lot to me. So it is definitely a big part and prized possession of mine in my, you know, WWE action figure collection. I love the championships. And uh, it was just really fun to get those created by none other than Showstopper Custom Figs who did also create all the John Cena arms and hats that you guys will see. So um, I had to include those here today. Another figure that I'd like to plug in here is the Willow Jeff Hardy, as you guys can see back here. I've showcased that many times in this in this, in this this video. I've showcased it many times on the channel, and that was made by BEW Animations. I don't think I've ever seen a Willow Mattel figure that well made before. And to own that piece in my collection is really meaningful to me. BEW is a great friend. He's a great customizer, one of the best 
I've ever seen, and I have a lot of stuff from him in my collection, so it makes, you know, my collection that much more special to me, having great pieces like that from, uh, you know, from BEW, so this is just a beautiful piece, man. I mean, how do you get any better than this Willow Jeff Hardy? He's not wearing a shirt because I feel like the shirt I got him is going to leave, uh, you know, the ink stains and the, and the black dye stains on him, and I don't want that to happen, so I'm not going to put that right there. The only reason he's holding that is for the thumbnail. Don't get any crazy ideas. Willow Jeff Hardy is not on Vindication, you guys know, so uh, don't don't get too, don't start all your conspiracy theories down in the comment section below. But let's move on with some other things before we show off the Cena's because it is one beautiful little thing here. Let's go ahead and dive into the next portion of the collection, guys. We're going to go into my own personal figure. Now, this one was also made by BEW. He made the head sculpt. I put it on the suited body with the with the uh, mean Gene Okerlund body from the flashback exclusive Walmart set or whatever that was. I'm on commentary. I love bow ties. I wanted myself to wear a bow tie, so I mixed and matched some parts and put together myself. I need to put an MDT logo right there because that would throw it over the top. But my own personal figure that looks like me, I need to update the hair a little bit because I, I wear my hair down now. I don't wear it up. But it's it looks just like me. I'm not going to bullshit with you. It does look like me smiling right there. I don't know how he nailed that. But it looks like me and I really love my own personal figure. So huge shout out to BEW. I didn't pay anything for this figure. He just wanted to make it for me since I helped him commentate a show and he wanted to have me there at commentary. So he made the figure and that is a great memory here on the channel and I hold this figure close to myself. So I, I freaking love that figure. Not only that, we have a few more figures here that are all sent in from fans, sort of. Uh, we have this custom Dolph Ziggler here. We have another custom Dolph Ziggler right here. And then we have a third custom Dolph Ziggler. All of these were sent in for free. And uh, this was made by my man, RKO 1974, Rodney. He sent this in because he's a big fan of the channel. You got the MDT shirt. You have this custom MDT uh, attire for Dolph Ziggler because, you know, everybody knows I'm a huge Dolph Ziggler fan, so I got that. You have the uh, custom MDT Ziggler made by BEW that was commissioned by Venomine Figs. If you guys remember Venomine Figs, absolute beast. Still love him to this day. Really wish we'd see a return from Venomine, but if he is watching, I love you, bro, and I appreciate all the support you've given me, and I freaking love this figure to this day. Very sick-ass Zebra MDT gear that Ziggler's rocking in this, and uh, I, I freaking love this attire. It's sick as hell. And then the final one is from Mad Reaper, who sent me this for my birthday for completely free. It is a custom elite promo attire Dolph Ziggler with the man bun. You got the skinny jeans. I had the idea for it. He said, you know what, bro? Don't worry about it. I, he, I, I included the t-shirt. He uh, sculpted these lower legs to skinny jeans. He has the custom converses on there, as you guys can see. Got the Chuck Taylors going on. MDT on the back of the heel right there. And it's just a, it's a great personalization piece that is in the collection. So all these Dolph Ziggler's, these custom made, you know, MDT themed and, and stuff like that that are that were just sent in, man, that, those mean so much to me. And they're so excellent. So I had to plug those into the video today when I talk about figures that I love the most in this collection. If we move on to something that I have made, I, I would put the, uh, I'd also add a couple customs to this. Not only do we have the Punisher Jeff Hardy, but the Punisher Rollins and the Buzz Lightyear Rollins are both in this category as well well. Just some fantasy attires that I really enjoyed making. I really enjoyed showing off and I used these in the pick fed so that makes them even more special to me having put them in the pick fed and you know wanted to create those fantasy attires for you guys and you know get a huge pop from the crowd who's watching the shows. So uh, Punisher Jeff Hardy, Punisher Rollins and Buzz Lightyear Rollins are definitely on my list as well. Um, if we're moving on into some other figures that I had made by Showstopper Custom Figs guys we have a big group of Ballers right here as well as Devitts and we also have an edge that I want to get in here. But all of these custom ballers and debits that we have right here were very hard to obtain as well. Just like the Cena's, you know, it took a lot of part coming up with. I had to track down eight different Elite 32 or Elite 20 Cody Rhodes figures. And then I had to track down a bunch of Daniel Bryans to get the lower legs for these guys. And getting all of these figures was uh, very, very expensive, honestly, because I had to get all the Cody Rhodes, which at that time he wasn't in the company. So, you know, I had to spend all the money to get the Cody Rhodes, then we had to spend all the money to get the Daniel Bryans for the lower legs and the kick pads, and then we had to obviously pay Showstopper and the shipping there and the shipping back. So these eight Ballers, these eight Baller masterpieces slash debits, uh, they mean a lot to me and Brad because Brad actually uh, helped me pay for them. So uh, they, these are definitely near and dear to the heart.
part as well because of how much work we had to do just to get these and how much money it costs to get them. But I love them. They're priceless and they're beautiful pieces up on the shelf. They're like flawless, hand-painted Balors and Devits, and I love these so much. So I would definitely add these Balors and Devits to that uh, prize possession category. Um, I honestly, if I had to narrow it down to one, I'd probably pick the Anti-Venom or the NXT Take over the end Balor because I don't feel like a lot of people have that figure. Um, I know we got it for in a basic form for Mattel, but we did not get an Elite ever, and we still haven't. So uh, that is definitely crazy. You would think by now we would have that, but uh, I, ha I would have to plug in the Balors and Devits into that portion. And if I had one more custom, I have it here off to the side. It's an Edge from WrestleMania 21 where he won the first ever Money in the Bank in this silver attire where he uh, show suffer custom figs actually hand painted the Edge heads on the sides. The a you know the Edge Sun logo here. You got the Money in the Bank briefcase. Really perfect piece. Still don't know how we don't have this from Mattel either. He even has these sculpted on boot flaps. I mean, there's a lot of details in this figure and uh, it is near and dear to the heart as well. It's back when I first started my collection is what a lot of these pieces are, especially the customs. Probably the most recent is the Willow Jeff Hardy. Nonetheless, man, just, just some epic pieces that I will never ever forget. And then if we're moving on into the final pieces of my collection that I just love so much, guys, we got to go. I'm sure you guys already know. It is the Founding Father pieces that we made with BEW. I came up with the idea because these guys are going to be in the MDT developmental brand. We have George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, and uh, they are definitely unique to the collection. You'll never see a George Washington or Abe Lincoln custom figure in anybody else's WWE figure or action figure collections. I don't think these figures exist. I know there's like some 1-6 scale that are like kind of realistic, but they're kind of cheaper. They're not really, uh, you know, detailed and small scale like this and very nice. I loved coming up with the attires for them. You got the axe. I mean, these are just great and BEW nailed these head sculpts. So, you know, I got to put George and Abe up there in my prize possessions of the collection, but that is pretty much it for all of my prize possessions besides the rest of my Cena collection, which if you guys saw my post on Instagram, you guys can go check that out. But if we come over here to the side, guys, you will see I still have yet to put any of them back up on the shelf because it's going to take me a minute. But here's just a little overview for you guys so you guys can check that out. Here's all the different Cenas. I can't remember what the total number was right here but uh there's so many right here from different moments and tires and stuff like that that i would definitely put in my you know prize possession category of my collection um if you guys want to see a better picture of that i'll pull it up on the screen for you guys um but over here we also have over here is my other box of cenas that is like 97 total when you put this collection together with the you know the customs that go up on the shelf it is like 97 total or something like that but I think that is pretty much it going to do it for this video. Guys, again, uh, I would love to know down below what your your price position of your collection is. You know, if you even have one, you know, you may be like, ah, I don't really care about my collection that much. Or you'd be like, yeah, bro, there's a certain figure that just really brings me joy or whatever. These are just, it just seems like a lot of these have memories and, you know, moments of the channel tied up in them and, you know, hard work built into them or instilled in them over a period of time of making the channel and, and connections and, and just everything like that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video and, you know, taking a look inside, you know, some different throwback moments and some different things here in the collection. Let me know what your favorite part of the video is or what your favorite portion of this video is. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comment section below, but subscribe to the channel, guys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip down memory lane here today, but I'm going to get the hell out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.